beloved in christ jesus i heartily welcome you to all this day the lord has bestowed upon you his gifts yes his gifts is sufficient in life how you are doing i believe god has been faithful in our lives if so begin to reverence his holy name because there is none to compare with him he is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end of your lives. So why not give him thanks? Glorify his name. Open your mouth and pray. Thank him for your good things. His glorious work in your life. I haven't given you this great opportunity to be in his presence is well enough. Magnifying his name. Lord, I appreciate you for the lives. I thank you for lies and I thank you for that you're about to do and that you've done in our lives because no, there is none to compel with it. You are the same today, yesterday and forever. You change it now. Cut off from you we are nothing. Your refuge and our fortress we are bowed before the throne of grace that will receive the strength that is overwhelming, that is overpowering, that will make a difference in our life. That will shake the storm, that will shake every darkness hovering around our lives. May your light instill in our lives. May whatever we are going to do to the glory of your holy name be, to the, be that in which you've planned and come to stay in our lives because there is nothing between light and darkness that you differentiate this right from the beginning of the creation. So you say, Let there be light, and you differentiate the light from darkness. So shall we be differentiated from darkness because we have nothing in common with each other. Lord, may you strengthen, may you equip us to the glory of your name as your all is coming forth. May you inculcate your word. May you establish us for greatness. May we be the doer and hearer of your will. May all your words bear fruit in our life so that as we are going forward to be coming with happiness and joy because the topic said extraordinary joy shall be our passion and has been instilled and will never be taken from us we will walk uprightly like as planned in our life because you say whatever you are or say that you do and you say whatever we believe and pray that has been automatically given to us so shall be our case in Jesus' supernatural name, I pray, beloved, give the Lord a hand, a round of sound clap, a round of sound clap. Yes, give it to him because he is desired of it. Arise out of big six today, extraordinary joy. Beloved, once again, you're welcome. How are you all doing? How was your day going? I trust God has been faithful in your life because he is ever assured. His ever abiding grace has endowed us for greatness. So, what are we saying? You are full of His light because your light will shine so much that no one has a hands or a stumbling block on your way. No one has to be a stumbling block to your movement. So, bravo. All right, our memory verse is taken for the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. It reads, Though you have not seen him, you love him. And you do, you do not see him now. You believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious view. For you are receiving every result of your faith, the salvation of your so beloved. The beginning of this verse, glad and attaches my heart. What are we reading? When you read the word of God, you try to make it an impact in your life with these four days. Bible first has said, out of the invisible things, the visible things were made, who made all this from God. We tend to see his glorious work in our life, what do we mean today? What is our topic? Extraordinary joy. That means when you are filled with angry, groaning, that is not a plan from, of God in you. His plan is for you to be of good health and prosper. Even as your soul prosper, beloved, the time is here. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We need to recognize that what Paul commands here is not just a cheerful disposition, disposition which many have by nature 
but rather something that requires supernatural power it is the joy in the lord and while we may never perfectly attain such joy in this troubled world or repeat the command for emphasizes as if to say it is possible so don't put her forth i'm saying is emphatic rush is an emphatic word show us the abiding joy in the lord show should be the aim the aim of every christian to rejoice on the lord always is an is not an option it is a command scripture must be our authoritative and sufficient source and human wisdom or physiology if you hung on to human wisdom you will never survive life you will always be very happy but if you trust god and totally depend on him the reverse is the case beloved are you a carrier of the holy spirit life has no option to make you to rejoice all the time you cannot be in tune with the holy spirit and put to shame he gives the extraordinary joy you need he understands your ways and sure has got plans all the time for you with this mindset that controller of the entire universe is completely in control of your life should always give you extraordinary joy rise up wherever you are square your shoulder keep your heart high put a smile on your face and say to yourself myself call your name why are you downcast put your whole arm um, put your whole trust in god because everything is already fine repeat it until enter the subconscious mind you are created to you in life bring a sheet of paper and write down all the things that we you done then lift the piece of paper speak and talk then begin to laugh until you experience the peace the passes are understand the beloved that is this case for it before i expand further i'll just to take this verse first peter 1 verse 1 read it from 1 to 10 and understand what the message imply in our lives below it god have indebted an extraordinary job it is not his way that we go grumble we start grumbling we start growing we start being angry at times you see the children of god face sad on this that is why the bible says there is a time and season for everything under the earth beloved circumstances that make that to her from birth you haven't had a define and know yourself you should not allow those things to read because that is the strength that is where devil comes to play in our lives to weigh us to make us think those things we are not able to get but the lord said he has indebted an extra ordinary joy in you what is he saying beloved for you have his spirit in you so whatever situation all these things about the good things he has done in your lives always i don't allow the enemy don't always fall prey to the enemy rather be victorious and it's nice just like when you notice that you're having you're having maybe some little misunderstanding with your neighbor and you don't meant it to be that way as a christian boy she herself take it as serious but for you to understand who she is and for you to go about your way preaching that gospel be read is for you to express your joy make her understand that that doesn't cause for mildness or frowning or not greeting each other as a child of god you're meant to be happy don't allow anything to weigh you down it's not that easy per se to talk but when you find yourself in such a mess i am trying to enlighten us how we're going to go away to experience this extraordinary joy the love has indebted in us beloved you are a carrier of grace and you are the sons and daughter of god so what is he telling you today he's telling you that that extraordinary joy you tend to remember that we are enemy of him but he makes us friends through christ he sees when we are still sinner that he sent his only begotten son to come and pay the price for us. Didn't you see that Christ loves us? He really loves us. So why can't you look on the cross? Look above that. He has his stuff for you. Look towards that cross that he has manufactured. He has defined for you in order for you to be able to ascend through. 
many of us give up because of we don't tend to see far. We allow the situation to remove it. We allow the situation to crown us to handicap. It's not when somebody's deficiency, physical handicap is when we call some handicap. You might be moving, but you're handicapped because you cannot be able, you can you're not productive. What am I saying the beloved? No matter whether it's tying you or weighing you down, believe ye the word of God the Lord said. Be extraordinary happy. What I did I tell us? I said bring down a piece of paper whenever the devil wants to take your job because do you know what God has plans for you? He said he alone knows the plans he has for you. The plan that brings about prosperity in all the system. But the plans to brings about the future. He has destined for you. His future, his his plans will never go on ahead in your life. It will always come to materialization, to always come to fruition, to always come to manifestation. So what is expected of you to take the shield of faith, believe, be joyous. No matter who wants to attack you to do as a child of God, it's normal for you to be angry. The times but don't allow it to pass. So don't allow the devil to win you. Don't allow the devil to laugh over you. Rather, he always make always be victorious. When you tend to see yourself in such a moody situation, pick up the smile, affirm, and in, um, begin to speak positive things in your life. That you are not born this way. You are not tend to be sad. You know, start exercising the authority the Lord has given you, holding by His promises. Take off your faith and you see yourself not. In that mood, when you try this life four times, what will become of you is victory, beloved? Attest, have a test to this. Always make yourself happy. At times, it's not that easy. Times to come. Times is going to make you like you are not yourself. But believe that you cry. He has indebted an extraordinary job. There is something we are not meant to be happy when we strive. When we see that in which we are aspiring to achieve, we are not meant to be happy because by our Bible verse said, though you have not seen him, you long, you love him. And though you have not seen what he has done now and you believe him, that should be of it. Always be happy because you know all he has for you is for him to give you the opportunity to testify for you to be in the land of living is what the name. Is what miraculous in doing. His miraculous is ever essential. It's efficacious in our eyes. So, beloved, what are we saying though? Believe in the Lord God. Stand your ground. We are not meant to be happy alone where we tend to see that we belong for. Having Him alone is what thanking and that he, he has done for us. Is enough expressing and giving thanks to him. If you understand what I'm saying, you go, you not go on, you will be angry for what you want to do. I believe God will give us the grace in order to watch the way and to live a life worthy of him for us not to be only expectant on that which we want to. Let us begin to see invisible things that he has a stock for us. May he give us the full sight, the spiritual sight, in order to digest, to understand his world and implement his knowledge. Because when you digest his world, that is when you start seeing unimaginable things in your life. That is when you start seeing God in his power. But when you tend to see him in a physical eye like this, you'll be mistaken. I pray God will give us a spiritual eyes. How can you ascend to the Lord? Always disassociate yourself from sin. Come to God. Pray fast. You can serve Him with flesh. It's what the Spirit that we are saying to Him. I pray God give us the grace in order to attain to earth potential and not be a victim of some things that will delay, that will hamper our glorious throne at the end. May God visit, may God crown us and give us that. That is earth to be designed in our life. And I shout, may the living shout, Amen. Amen. You're destined for greatness. Kudos and kudos to you. Always be focused.
positive and remain relevant because there is this plan for you. I will hang up so far to see you in my next video. I still remain angel for real. Bye for now.